Hello! Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face because that's important. And after you're done with that, we're going to go with the full coverage concealer in green. This is going to act as my makeup base for today because I'm going for a green face. Um, don't forget to block your brows as well because we don't need her in this makeup look. And then just blend everything with a beauty blender or a beauty sponge, whatever you have. After you're done with everything, just set it with baby powder. Next, I'm going to take primal colors in hot green. And I'm going to use that to color and contour my face. I use the green in the Ultimate Edit Brights palette to just add more dimension. And we're going to go in with the yellow and also the green again and just add magic to the eyes we're gonna cut the crease as well with a white eyeshadow base and we're gonna go in with some colors i'm using pink the purple and just blend everything together on the eyelids i'm gonna go back in with that white and make a line and we're gonna go in again with the yellow and just dab that on I actually ran out of eyeliner so I took this primal colors in hot black mixed that with some face oil and voila you have eyeliner Extend the liner out to your forehead and when you're done, just add some glitter on there and I'm gonna go back in the Brights palette and just add more color to the face. For the lips, I'll be using Licorice Lane Vinyl Lip Gloss in Cherry Cola and um, the design here is actually uh, inspired by the Red Queen's lips in Alice in Wonderland and that is the only thing on my face that is inspired by Alice in Wonderland Next, I'll be gluing some prosthetic pieces I made out of air dry clay, which I've painted uh, using the NYX suede liquid lipsticks. Blend that out with a brush and the last thing we need to do for this look is pop on some lashes and I'm gonna go put on a wig and the look is complete. Put on your outfit, your hair, the accessories and you're done. On to the next look, block your brows, hide your hair. I'm using a wig cap instead of a bald cap because it's easier for me because it's breathable and I don't sweat as much under it as compared to a latex bald cap. And I'm also allergic to latex, so there's that. Um, I'm going to paint my face white and black and just blend them together for highlight and contouring. 
these prosthetics were made out of air dry clay as well. I'm going to paint that into my skin, blend it all together. And I'm going to create some cracks on the face, which I will be painting red later on in gold. This look was actually inspired by one of the most devastating events that has ever happened in human history, which is the burning of the Amazon forest. What people fail to realize is that the earth that we have now is our wonderland. Like there is no need to escape to some other alternate reality. And the need for that just shows like our irresponsibility to the things that we have done to this earth. So my take on Wonderland After Dark is the earth represents Wonderland and what we have done to it is what happens to it after dark. So like, yeah, I don't really know what the earth did to deserve the things that we've done to her, but we need to wake up ASAP. I will be using the Offtropic Shadow Palette in Shifting Sand for the eyes. They have a lot of warm tones. I'm taking the red, the oranges, the chromes, and the yellows in it and blending them all together. As for in the liner, I'm doing it in the style of the hardened lava. And yeah, that's basically it. I want to take the time to thank everyone who voted for me to get to the top six, three years in a row, and here I am now. This still feels like a dream. I can't believe it. Thank you so much for all your support, and I'm just so, so grateful and happy.